Hey everybody, this is Bluto. I just want to welcome you to K-Dog Games, Toys and More. Enjoy the videos! Hi all, Karen Doll coming at you again. Another toy review. So this is still ongoing with my recent Target haul. Should do a vlog to show you guys everything, but you can see it all now. So what does it matter? So um, in my last video, I did review a our generation outfit I recently bought and I did mention I picked up another our generation doll which I haven't done in a very long time so this little girl caught my attention I'm trying to figure out how her name what her name is it's G U A C Y R A so it's Grisira Grisira I'm not sure this is OG regular doll collection um yeah I'm not real sure how to pronounce her name so but I thought she was just too cute in her outfit. So I had to get her. So I kind of talked a little bit in the last video about what our generation is. You can check out OGDolls.com. They're toll-free number. The boxes are made out of recyclable material. Um, her story is a little different on the back. And then they do have a little story of another little girl. So our package comes with one doll, one top, one skirt, one pair of undies. And it says undies on here. One pair of tights and a pair of shoes. So let's get our little girlfriend out of the box so we can play with her. So you guys got to let me know in the comments what our generation dolls you have. I'm not going to say you know all of mine because I don't think I've reviewed all mine with you. Uh, um, oh, wow. Well. Let's, there's some fun stuff at the top. So let's check this out first. So this is just a hair care guide. Um, as you, I, I didn't go into this cause I didn't really review a doll in my last video, but, um, I have a, and it says on here about a wire brush that I did purchase. Um, it just says about dividing into small sections, br brushing them one at a time, brush out the tangles. Um, you can miss the hair. So I always have a little Mr. Bottle. Um, and it just says, you know, um, we don't want to use uh, styling products because it may damage the hair and it don't use like blow dryers or hot rollers or curling irons because the doll hair in these actually isn't like our hair like this. So, um, items like that can damage the hair. And then this I have never seen before. So, oh, it has a bunch of the different products in here. So, I don't remember this ever being like this in my, I want to get the vet set. I did not see that the other night when I was in Target, but I've been eyeing that up a little bit. So, um, part of the reason I went to Target the other night, um, A, I hadn't been there in a while, and B, on the Target app, they had some discounts on some things, and one of them was I got a discount on the outfit, and I got a discount off the doll, and I got some discounts on some other stuff I'll be showing you. So, it was kind of a nice, productive trip. So those are kind of, I remember seeing a review for this. Um, hold on, I can't get over to it for the ice cream. Actually, I think, um, not quite, but there's some, I have bought one of the ice cream, not this particular one, but I have bought one of the um, Our Generation um, ice cream sets. I really, really liked it. So, as so I just throw stuff in the box, um, I have a shipping box here from something else I got in the mail that I'll be reviewing with you guys later that I'm very, very excited about. And I'm glad he actually arrived today so I can share him with you guys. And she does not want to come out of the box. So that's going to be a short review. All right. So kind of looking at her still in the packaging. Let's try to get her out of here the rest of the way. Very, very carefully. Oh my gosh, I almost snipped her tights. That wouldn't have been good. Yeah, these these are like zip strips on here. And they are like so hard to clip. Let me try to do this from the back here. Um, as I always tell you guys, please be very, very careful when you're getting stuff out of packaging. I think if you've, you know, I usually unbox some stuff on camera. Sometimes I don't, but you guys have seen me cut myself multiple times. That's why I always stress to please be very, very careful whenever you're getting your stuff out of the packaging. I, I mean, it's like some of the packaging is like so easy and then you get ones like this 
where it doesn't want to trim. There we go. Slowly getting her. Okay, now we got this one across the bottom. So let me. Okay, so that wasn't too bad on this side. It was just, I think on the inside, it was just trying not to cut her. Because I've done that a few times. If you guys have watched some things, I've cut some of my doll's hair. Um, yeah, it's like they just don't want to make it easy to get them out of packaging. And she's still stuck a little in here. Oh, okay. That string I got to cut off the back of her skirt here. So I'm going to get that out of the way. Ooh, her tights are shiny. That is pretty cool. Uh-oh, I pulled her skirt down a little bit. That wasn't good. All right, so let me get this string off here the rest of the way. Which is not working very well. Okay. All right, so looking, I'm going to call her G for sure, since I'm not real sure how to pronounce her name. So, um... She did have another gummy here on her hair that kind of came out when I was taking her out of the packaging. Um, I don't know if I'll take her hair. Actually, some of her hair is coming out, so let me pull that a little bit just to get it out the rest of the way. And there's still a string stuck in the back of her dress, her skirt. Ah, like I said, don't make it easy to get these guys out of the packaging. Give me one second here, guys, because I want to get that off of the back of her skirt. There we go. So she's um, a little blonde hair girl. Like, so I'll probably take her hair down the rest of the way later. So she has um, green eyes, which are very, very pretty. Then she has this little hoodie on that comes up over her head. It has little ears on it. There's a little hole in the back where her ponytail is coming out. And it looks like it's Vel. Yeah, it is Velcro there. So yeah, sure. Sure, it's Velcro, Karen. So yeah, there it is. So you can take this. Uh, they actually have it attached to her head. So we're not going to take it down right now because that's more stuff I need to cut very carefully. So her little hoodie is done up in a pink with hearts. She has a little silver heart here. Um, the R Generation little logo tag on the side. And her skirt's in kind of a blue. So we have a tulle overlay and then like a periwinkle type blue shirt. And then uh, sh skirt. I can't talk. Um, it says she has undies, which I can see through her tights. So her tights are shimmery. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that on camera or not, but they kind of have like an iridescent glow to them a little bit, which is really cool. And then she has on these little tennis shoes that almost match the underling <coughs> of her skirt. There's plastic on the tennis shoes. They do actually tie, which I think that's the first I've seen in 18 inch dolls for, at least for me personally. Um, and then the back, so her skirt does slide down if you want to change her. And the only reason I knew that is because it was coming off when I took her out of the box. And then here's the Velcro on the back for her little hoodie. So um, she doesn't have a little t-shirt on underneath. So um, with our generation dolls, the, from their neck, their shoulders, and down into the hips are stuffed. So that's the one thing with the um, Our Generation dolls and American Girl dolls are that way. At least mine was. And then um, Journey Girls and My Life As, this top part is still like the plastic, like their body. And then the bottom half down to their hips is the stuffing. I just always like to mention that because it's kind of the difference with the, like the four that I collect. Like I said, I probably have to do a whole video. So articulation. So her head, her shoulders, and her hip. And then the other thing that I'm a sucker for on these dolls is when you lay them back and their eyes close. Um, that's like one of my favorite things with doll dolls for some reason. It's always been that way since I've been a child. Um, Journey Girls, at least currently the ones I have, do not do that. So that's my only downfall with that, I guess is the best way to say it. I don't know. It's the only thing I don't like with them. But I mean, if there's a doll with the eyes closing, I'm, I'm right there. So she is Totally adorable. Like I said, it's the first one I've got in a while. Um, hold on, so you can see her little ears. And like I said, they kind of have, like, right now with the hood, I don't know if you can see a couple spots they have it strung through some of her hair. So I don't want to mess with that on camera because I don't want to cut her hair by accident. So that's something I'll do off camera to take the hoodie down. Um, kind of bummed that I did 
pick the one gummy out because I probably would have left her hair up like this with the ponytail, but I'll eventually take it down and brush it out. So like I said, she is a totally adorable. I'm so glad I did get her. Um, the other thing is with a lot of the dolls they're doing now, I, except I don't think the Journey Girls are, um, but our generation, <coughs> excuse me, My Life Ass and um, even American Girl, they have been making boy dolls as well. Um, I haven't gotten any of the 18 inch boy dolls because none of them have really caught my eye yet. Um, I have some of the boy baby live dolls that I think are totally adorable, but I'm not real keen so far on the 18 inch boy dolls. I mean, I probably will eventually get one, but I just haven't had any that have grabbed me or caught my attention enough for me to purchase. So that will probably be something coming down the road. If you guys can recommend one that maybe I should check out, let me know. I mean, um, when I've been to the stores, they've been very, very limited. So I have a feeling if um, a certain one would catch my attention, I probably would end up having to order it online. But it's something I'm willing to check out. So if you guys have any ideas or there's one you've got, let me know in the comments. I can look into it to see if it's something I may want to purchase. But that is it for this review. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when I post new content. Help me share my page. Greatly appreciate it. Subscribers. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Love you all. Please keep coming back for more new subscribers. Welcome aboard. Hope you're enjoying. Um, check out my other channel, Karen and Blue Dose, not another chew, not another chew channel. Karen and Blue Dose, not another review channel. Um, with YouTube's new requirements, um, I do have that set that it's not, I don't post kit content over there. So if you're going to check it out, check with mom and dad first. Kit friendly content will remain over here, just so you know. Um, I think I mentioned subscriber stuff. If I didn't, you know the spiel. Love you guys. New subscribers, welcome aboard. Um, comment if you want a shout out. I got to get myself in order with doing that. I got to find my tablet and figure things out from there. Comment if there's something out there you want me to review. And G and I will say we'll see you in the next one. Bye.